Hey everybody, it's Keith with the L1 Automotive Training Channel, and today we're going to do um, a transmission shop is where we're at. we got a 2012, is that a 12, Josh? It's a 12, yeah. 12, we got a 2012, Josh is here. Hey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how comfortable with, he, with him being on camera he is, so I don't want to make anyone feel weird. Um, it's a 2012 Nissan Rogue, they put a reman transmission in it. We get here, battery stone cold dead, so we got maintainer on it. Uh, we're just going to hook up some consult. Hey everybody, uh, just want to let everyone know we have a live hands-on module programming class coming up in January we're super excited about. So check it out on the website, links in the description, at one trainingcom click the events tab, learn to program modules like us. That's what a whole lot. So it auto ID'd it, we're going to click confirm. It's going to do a system call of everything um, on, the, on the car, of all the modules. We're actually letting it run right now because, like I said, the battery was completely stone cold dead, wouldn't even turn the interior lights on. And when I hooked the VI up, it didn't it didn't turn the VI on. So we're letting it run also because we're going to have to get the, the transmission fluid temp up in order to finish the relearns. So battery voltage code, surprise, surprise. Fluid level low, ignition circuit open. So Josh is going to snag a picture of that because our invoicing system we require a pre-scan and a dash picture so he grabbed the dash picture the VIN picture already um, so we got all our DTCs we got those saved we're gonna go um, into the transmission module no DTCs there what we're really wanting to do is to go over to ECU identification and so we have a 31036 one Victor x-ray one alpha every time we do a transmission uh, replacement Programming, what we do is we go to the Nissan website. We got no interwebs. Josh, you want to turn your uh, hotspot on? Yep. Yeah, okay. Once we're logged in, uh, we're just going to go to the Consult 3 Plus. We're going to go to the Reprogramming tab, which is already on there. We're going to type in 31036. Going to click it. And then now that I've gone through all that, I forgot. One Victor X ray, one Alpha. So one. We're gonna click there. One Victor X ray one Alpha. Nothing's popping up. Victor X ray. Did I type that in right? One Victor X ray one. Okay, so that means it is at the latest calibration level because there's not a software update available for it. It would be populating. So let's say it had a one Alpha Alpha Zero Bravo in it, then there would be an update one Alpha Alpha Nine Bravo. But since there's nothing popping up on here, Victor X-ray one. Yeah, since there's nothing popping up and self-populating, that means the calibration that's in it is the latest calibration already. Or it's blank, one of the two. But there's no DTCs in it. And I can almost guarantee you there would be DTCs or lights or something if it was blank. So just to check that, we would go up here to blank, then go 31036. Also, most CVTs that are blank start with 310F6. One, Victor. X-ray, one, no, one, alpha, nope, not a blank one. If it was a one Charlie, it'd be blank. And it would go to one Victor, X-ray, one Charlie. That's weird. If it was that, it would go to the same that. Huh. Oh well, anyways, so it's, it's already up to date. So we just need to do what service info says for replacement CVT. So let's go in here and actually check that. Since I was already in there, I could have done that. Uh, so perform additional services when control valve assembly. So we'll click that. It's TM10. That's where we need to go. So now we're in the additional services we're replacing control whatever or transaxle. So TCM requires characteristic data solenoid stored in the ROM of the valve that enables TCM blah blah blah. Erasing the fluid level. So we need to erase the loading and storing of the data and then load new data. So we'll go to the description, prescription, the description of it. So start the engine, select data monitor and transmission after temp count is 47 or more. So we want it to get to above 47. So it should be there pretty close. We assume it is. So we're gonna go ahead and perform initialization. So turn the ignition off. Then ignition on, but not, so engine not running. We're gonna to go to transmission, shift the lever to reverse. All right, so for clarification, 
what we're going to do is we're going to put it in reverse, depress the accelerator slightly while depressing the brake pedal, and select erase while we're in the self diag. So basically, we're going to erase the codes while we're doing this. Come on. All right, so according to the service info, we need to be in this self diagnostic, so basically reading codes. We got it in reverse. We're going to depress to hold the brake pedal and depress the accelerator two eighths pedal and depress the accelerator two eighths pedal and depress the accelerator two eighths and then we click erase so before we do that we actually want to see what the calib data is so we go to calib data so it reads all the calib data uh, what we do is we take a picture go ahead josh take a picture with your phone so we can add that to the ticket so josh is going to take a picture of the calibration data that's currently in it okay now you notice it's 0B, 00B, 42, 77, 8 alpha. So hopefully you guys can remember that to some degree. And you'll see that it's gonna to go to zero here in a second. So we're gonna to go to self results. We're gonna hold the brake and accelerator. We're gonna press erase. It's gonna execute that. It says it's done. So now if we go back to Calib data right now, it should be all zeros. And then we know that we cleared the data out. So then Josh is gonna take a picture of it all being zeros. So that cleared the calibration data that was stored in the TCM. And now when we finish this procedure, which is gonna be, see we see it shows all zeros, that's what it's supposed to do. Service info says it should go to all zeros. Okay, so if that was the case, we shift the selector into park. All right, does it indicate park on the, on the selector? Yes, it does, which means now when we go back to console and we go back to this Calib data, so we're gonna go out of Calib data. We'll just go to data monitor. We'll go back to Calib data, and now when it loads, it should have loaded the numbers. So now it's got new numbers. See, 00007, 16, 20. So it reached out to the, the ROM that's inside the transmission and grabbed the new data. So now we have successfully completed that part. So Josh is gonna take a picture of that. Sweet. Josh being smart there and using his hotkeys on the side. So we're going to go back probably to work support because what else do we have to do? So we loaded the calibration data. We stored the calibration data. So to store it, we got to turn the, the key off. Wait five seconds. Switch it back on. Cool. Now we're going to go do the conform the CVT deterioration. So it's in the work support. So we went to work support. Conform CVT, click start, click start, and click clear. Do you want to clear the data? Yes, we're just resetting the fluid time. So now it says zero. So take a picture of that, Josh, saying that we did exactly. So what we do is we document the entire step of the way that we follow the factory service info. So we'll click end. We'll go back to self-diag, make sure there's no DTCs. Awesome. We'll go back home. Because when it exited out, we just went back into one system. We're going to go back into one all system. We're going to let it reread the whole entire car. We're going to redo our post scan. And uh, then there's no code, so we're all done. So while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and start this up. That way the fluid gets up. So we know the cars. That's the correct vehicle. It's a system call. We're getting all the DTCs. So we're going to go back. Key on. Engine off. We're going to click erase. Erase all those codes. Just gonna save the results. We'll click close. And Josh, you can go ahead and take a picture of that. That's our post scan showing that we have no DTCs. Sweet, so now we got a post scan with no DTCs. We are all done. Let's go ahead and key off, start it. Hey, it starts much quicker now with battery. It's not completely dead. We've got no abnormal lights. I believe the airbag check light's gonna go out. Yep, and since I don't have the seat buckled, that's good. All right, now Josh is gonna get the post cluster. So, all right guys, that's the procedure for this 2012 Nissan. There are four different procedures depending upon which transmission and what generation of car it is in CVT. Uh, so, all right guys, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time.